Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. I hate winter. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about why some insects also hate winter, but how do so many insects survive the winter? That's our topic. Well, think about it like this. If insects couldn't survive the winter, there wouldn't be any bugs out there. Well, there have to be bugs. The bugs serve lots of purposes uh, in the environment. So bugs are gonna survive. There are just a number of different mechanisms that they've got to survive. For example, we're right by a shelter belt. And this shelter belt happens to be filled with buckthorn. Well, what's buckthorn famous for? overwintering aphids. Aphids move out of the fields, they move into the shelter belts, they overwinter on the buckthorn, and they move back into the field the next year. And you may say, well, why don't you remove the buckthorn? That's a good question. Why don't I remove the buckthorn? There's lots of it in our part of the world. It grows underneath the other trees and kind of fills in the gaps in the shelter belt. So there are some benefits of the buckthorn. It helps block the wind, and that's really nice in the winter that Brian doesn't like but it also provides a home for the aphids. One of the bugs we have quite often is called bean leaf beetle in soybeans. And what that bug will do is it will overwinter as an adult. It will burrow down as deep as it can down in the soil. And that's how it survives the winter. It just tries to get down deep because the deeper you go in the soil, the more moderate that temperature is. When you're in the top, let's say, inch of soil, well, sure, that might get to 20 below zero or 10 below zero or something like that. But if you get down several inches, that's usually just below freezing, which is not a bad temp for many bugs to survive. Well, the other thing, the temperature doesn't fluctuate much. It yep. stays much more constant. It doesn't change with the day like it will on that top inch. Here's another thing to think about, corn rootworms. That's one of the worst problems across the corn belt. Well, what happens with the corn rootworm? They stay in that corn belt by laying eggs. And those eggs are safe from flooding they're safe from frost and, and freezing. And man, I wish that some of those things would do a better job killing corn rootworm eggs because we have to fight them every year. All right, now there are some bugs that just aren't gonna survive our winters pretty well. But one of the things we have each spring and summer is a bunch of southerly winds. So when the bugs survive in the warmer climates, they just get up in the air, they ride the wind, and then they end up in our fields. And we see that very commonly with moths. Let's say it's a cutworm moth. That might have come from two states away. We don't know. It's blown up from somewhere in the south, somewhere where it was a little bit warmer in the winter. Now, there are some conditions where insect survival is not good. When it warms way up way too early in the year and then freezes again, that can really be harmful to certain insect populations. One in particular is mosquitoes. Sometimes in the spring, we'll see mosquitoes getting started, say in April in the upper Midwest. Then we get that late spring freeze and we kill a bunch of mosquitoes. I think it is glorious, but it doesn't always work out that way. Insects have a pretty good knack for surviving the winter. Well, another thing, unfortunately, that has a good knack for surviving the winter is our Weed of the Week, but we'll tell you how to stop it on your farm later in the show. <music> 